At the end of part two of Before the Cock Crows, the issues relating to Christian marriage was brought up and it is mentioned to show that such issues cannot be ignored. Here the story continues. On Wednesday the 2nd of October we went to New Bibliot Prison and met with the Assistant Director Julia Arsago and the Penal Superintendent Catalina A. Balinio. We were greeted by the Secretary of the Director Bobat Diaz and Lani her assistant. I then met with Michael and shared our news regarding the book Trojan Warriors, also about Jerusalem and the ship the Redeemer which was moored in Holland and that we were seeking to secure her for our Trojan Horse International Christian Ministry. We then met with the gathering of 47 Trojan Warriors and spoke to them about their involvement in the Teacher Training College. Michael shared the vision with all the men meeting. It was for a two-storey college building with workrooms and the latest computer systems for study. The funding for this we had planned to raise through our service that we believe we had been directed from the Lord. We outlined our vision for the Teacher Training College at New Bilibid Prison and the further proposals to establish other colleges in other prisons throughout the world such as Mexico and the Caribbean etc. Ken Knight was already in Mexico and had married a Mexican Christian lady and they desired to be involved in Christian ministry. The sister ship of the Redeemer called Prasjan was already in Mexico. We stated that we were seeking links with the United Kingdom University to give them true academic status. I explained the advantage of such a link and that this would help them in all their future Christian mission work. I explained my contacts with the Home Office and the British prison authorities and government officials in the UK, including Claire Short the Minister for Development for Overseas. We stated that the objectives would be that they would be trained to go out not only back to their own cities upon release but to establish colleges in prisons of different countries upon their release from prison and that they would be Trojan Horse International CM. We explained that the new Bilibi Prison Teacher Training College would be the model for all other colleges. This was what we were seeking government approval for in order to and support the ministry. We were reaffirming our objectives that Michael had already informed them during our last visit last year. Michael had outlined our plans and ideas to Lucas Dengatton and the elders of MBPTI in October 2001, a year previously, and Lucas and his helpers worked together to fulfil these objectives. There was no uncertainty as to our plans and purposes. Now here is the address that Michael gave to these elders at MBPTI on their 13th anniversary of their Theological Institute and the amalgamation of the Trojan Horse International Teacher Training College within New Bilibid Prison. Edwin Tabira interpreted this speech for Michael. Now here is the speech that Michael gave to these elders one year previously in 2001. Michael John Clark speech, October the 24th, 2001. The amalgamation birthday of Trojan Horse International and NBPTI, Teacher Training College Group. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm honored for this opportunity to glorify our Lord Jesus Christ for those who do not know me, I'm Michael John Clark, brother of David Clark, the founder of the British Trojan Horse Mission that visited us recently during their five week crusade to the Philippines. I am now going to say a few words to many of you who are aware that the book, book is being published named Trojan Warriors, which will feature in great detail the wonderful success and complete crusade together with my life story our future plans for the Teacher Training College and outreach to the city jails. The book will contain over 60 life-giving testimonies from prisoners here in Maximum Compound. These testimonies are now at the very moment in transit to England via Federal Express. The book shall be in the booksellers worldwide within six months 
a free copy will be sent to every prisoner that submit their testimony. The Trojan Horse Ministry is already fully active in England and concentrates mainly in the British prisons under the Link for Life banner. My brother was so overwhelmed to learn how the Holy Spirit convinced Pastor Lucas P. Dangatton over 13 years ago as an ex-convict into forming the first ever theological institute inside a prison. He has now offered to support this institute in a very exciting expansion program. Pastor Lucas has now been appointed to the president of Trojan Horse International Christian Ministries Philippines Incorporated, which is now in the process of being registered as today, the 24th of October 2001, is the official birthday of amalgamation. Pastor Lucas is seeing to everything, including the opening of the Trojan Horse bank account. A proposal is now being prepared for submission to the Department of Justice and Prison Director to use the Institute as a teacher training college to bring groups of up to 20 at a time from the medium to the maximum compound. For a six month intensive training course, including evening classes, to use the Building Institute as a dormitory to billet the students. This will not cause a problem. They are low risk prisoners. Once trained, they will return to the medium to teach others. Pastor Lucas will visit them on their regular basis for encouragement. Now, onto the program. It is to build a team of outreach officers, which will in fact be inmate teachers, who upon their release will cover the local jails in their hometowns and areas. Financial support is expected through the book sales. Point to point, Pollock, Manny, Rene, and Edwin. Financial support is also expected in order to complete the building renovation and extension program for this building. It is also the plan to help Pastor Lucas with his housing problems as he is now homeless. Pastor Andy has not been forgotten in this plan. It is our prayer that he too will be released shortly and funding will be made available for family accommodation outside the prison in order that he continues in full-time service alongside Pastor Lucas. I too expect to be released very soon. I'm in fact a director of Trojan Horse Ministry and executive director. My main role is marketing and promotions. When the Trojan Warrior book hits the market next year, I have planned a high impact promotion campaign in England, which will cover special top security prisons. Full media coverage, including television, is expected. This one month campaign will be co-headed by none other than Pastor Lucas himself, as I have personally pledged his round air trip to the UK.